Ohio CDL air brake practice test. Question 1. Which of the following is true about a dual air brake system? One system usually operates the front axle and one operates the rear axle. One is called the primary system and one is called the secondary system. They use a single set of brake controls. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 2. The maximum leakage rates per minute are 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 6 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 10 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. 1 pound per square inch for single vehicles, 3 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Answer 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Question 3 Which vehicles must have low air pressure warning signals? Only those built after 2010. All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Warning signals are optional. Only those built after 2005. Answer All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Question 4. Spring brakes are Made up of powerful springs, that are held in back, while you are driving, by air pressure. Brakes that come on automatically on a truck on tractor when the side drops too low. Not going to have full effect until your side drops to a certain range, often, 20 to 30 pounds per square inch. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 5. How can you tell if your vehicle is equipped with an anti-lock braking system? ABS is still optional. If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. If the vehicle is manufactured after 2010. If the vehicle is manufactured after 2000. Answer. If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. Question 6. Generally, why must you take an exam about air brakes? Otherwise, you can only receive a CDL permit. Otherwise, you will have to get a CDL with restrictions. Otherwise, you cannot receive a CDL at all. All trucks have air brakes. Answer Otherwise, you will have to get a CDL with restrictions. Question 7. Which of the following is not part of the braking process when driving a tractor-trailer combination vehicle with ABS? When you slow down, you should monitor your tractor and trailer and ease off the brakes to keep control. You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. Brake the same regardless of what you're driving whether you have a trailer or ABS, or neither. You should use only the braking necessary to stay safely in control. Answer You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. Question 8 
The tractor protection valve will close itself automatically if the air supply drops to a certain level. Provides your air supply for brake system. Is closed by the parking brakes. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 9. Which of the following is the reason that air tanks must be drained? Your left side brake will cease to operate. Your transmission fluid may drain out. You will drive too quickly if they are not. Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. Answer Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. Question 10. Which of the following does ABS do? Decreases your normal braking capability. Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Shortens your stopping distance. Increases your normal braking capability. Answer. Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Question 11. How would you check your truck's slack adjusters? Press the brake pedal while listening for any strange noises. Accelerate, then brake hard. Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. All of the above. Answer. Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. Question 12. At what measurement is the safety valve usually set to open? 150 pounds per square inch. 250 pounds per square inch. 200 pounds per square inch. 100 pounds per square inch. Answer. 150 pounds per square inch. Question 13. Which of the following is not part of the air brake system? Service brake system. Parking brake system. Radio signal system. Emergency brake system. Answer. Radio signal system. Question 14. What is the best way to test if your vehicle's spring brakes come on automatically? Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the manufacturer's low size specification have been met for spring brakes to deploy. Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out, on tractor trailers vehicles. Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out on single vehicles. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 15. How do brakes work on a long, steep downgrade? Not applicable, there is no braking effect involved in a downgrade. As a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. As the main braking mechanism, with the engine braking effect as an emergency backup. As the main braking mechanism. Answer. As a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. Question 16. Which conditions are front wheel brakes good under? All weather conditions. Only good weather. Front wheel brakes are never ideal. Only wet or icy conditions. Answer. 
all weather conditions. Question 17. Which of the following is true about your brake function if your ABS fails? You will still have normal brake function, and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. It will slow your truck to a halt and force you to pull over. It may cause problems with other mechanical systems and there could be a huge fire risk. You will have no brake function and the truck will be out of control. Answer You will still have normal brake function, and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. Question 18. What is the best way to test your vehicle's low air pressure warning signal? Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Pump the brakes while your vehicle is fully on. Manually let the air out of your brakes and see if the signals comes on. Pump the brakes until the air pressure drops below 30 pounds per square inch. Answer Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Question 19 Which of the following is not part of the drum brake? Safety valve Axle Brake drum Slack adjuster Answer Safety valve Question 20. Slack adjusters are Between the power screw and push rod on disc brakes Between the push rod and S-cam on drum brakes Part of your air brake system used to adjust the brakes. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 21. The purpose of a supply pressure gauge is To warn you only if there is too little air in the tank. To tell you how much air is in the tank. To tell you how hot the air in the tank is. All of the above. Answer To tell you how much air is in the tank. Question 22. When should you use the parking brake? Only if you are away from your vehicle for an extended amount of time. Only in urban areas where there are many other vehicles. Every time you leave your vehicle, for any amount of time. Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. Answer Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. Question 23. When should you drain your air tanks? At the end of a trip. At the end of each working day. At the end of the fiscal corner. At the end of the month. Answer. At the end of each working day. Question 24. Which of the following should you do before leaving your vehicle unattended? Chalk the wheels. Put on the parking brakes. Remove the keys. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 25. Which of the following factors can cause brakes to fail or fade? Not relying on engine braking enough. Excessive use of the service brakes. Brakes being out of adjustment. 
All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.